Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Welcome to our weekend vlog. But I had my mom fuel. <laughs> had my coffee already. Um, no tournaments this weekend, you guys. Can you believe it? I feel like the last few tournament or last few weekends have been filled with tournaments. But this weekend we have an off weekend, which is a good thing because you guys, we gotta do a little shopping today. Unfortunately, our microwave decided to break. <laughs> We think it's the motor. I went to go heat up something for Mason and it filled the house with smoke and it smelled disgusting. Yeah, not just break, it went bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> so um, our microwave's 15 years old, like we've been saying, we've been in our house for 15 years. So everything's starting to slowly break. I did Google it. So microwaves tend to last about 10 years. So the fact that we got 15 oh, years out of ours is good. pretty, pretty good. Yeah. And you all know that we need our microwave. Speaking of coffee, my coffee got a little cold this morning and I was going to reheat it in the microwave. Yeah, couldn't do that. So, um, I think we got the um, tape measure out here. I think while well, I'm going to make breakfast, this guy's going to measure and get all the dimensions. I'm assuming that they're pretty much standard um, sizes, but we will see about that. Better safe than um, sorry. So definitely microwave um, is on the agenda today because we cannot go another day without our microwave. And I think you guys, I'm gonna look into getting a new stove as well because I kind of want it to match. Um, so I've been kind of researching. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's because of COVID or what, but it seems like um, a lot of stuff is not in stock as well. So I don't even know if we're gonna come home with their microwave today or be able to get it installed this week. We will see about all that, but I know that we need to get it going so that if we have to wait a month for it to come in, can we go another month without our microwave though, Jack? Probably not. Probably not. So hopefully, it seems like microwaves aren't on back order as much as stoves. So we're gonna deal with that today. So we'll bring you along. Um, pick out a new microwave and stove hopefully. And I really do want a new dishwasher, but that thing's still working and I feel like if things are still working. It's, although the stove is still working, but you guys know that we have an issue with our um, oven. <laughs> we like to burn down the house. It's just so old that I've self-cleaned, I've used um, homemade cleaners on it. It just doesn't get cleaned. Um, and every time I use it, the house fills with smoke. I'm not burning things, it's just, it's 15 years old too. It has a lot of built up gunk in it. Um, so yeah, that's the plans. And then tonight we have the Phoenix Suns. So we're actually gonna go out and enjoy ourselves. I say go out, we're actually going to my sister's house. They invited us over to watch the Suns and have dinner. So that's gonna happen tonight as well. So yeah, but happy weekend. Let's get some Saturday morning breakfast going. All right guys, we got our measurements. We're about ready to head out. Uh, Mason is gonna stay home. He has no desire to look at microwaves at all. He's gonna stay home with the doggo. Um, wish us luck, hopefully this goes good. Um, I am finding out that measurements, we have GE appliances right now, so I'm just wondering if we should just get GE again. I mean, they've lasted 15 years with no issues, no maintenance on them. We've never had to have a maintenance guy out to fix anything in the kitchen. Um, so it's been good for us, and it seems like the measurements for those are gonna fit right into our counter um, spaces. So we'll see what's available. Wish us luck. Here we go. First stop is Best Buy. We tend to go to Best Buy first just because we make a lot of purchases here because of YouTube, our cameras and everything. Plus we're like platinum members or something like that so that we get money back. They send us um, rewards, gift cards and gift stuff, cards and stuff yeah. back. So we'll see. This is also where we bought our refrigerator. So it was pretty smooth sailing. So here we go. Good old Best Buy. Hopefully it's one stop shopping. Hopefully. Change, Don't get distracted, Change the plans. Don't get distracted. You guys, what is it? An 82-inch? 82 82 this thing. I wouldn't even fit in our living room. <laughs> I don't think so. It would take up the whole wall. I have to get rid of the couch. Worth it. That's not that bad of a price. Uh-uh. This is our area. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, it's broken though. <laughs> tell me not to get distracted. <laughs> How about you? So we have um, gas too, so we have to make sure. Oh yeah. 
Ooh. All right, now we gotta pay attention. This is nice, this is double, but I was looking at the price of these and it costs a lot more to have the double. Um, we don't plan on being in our house, but maybe for what, three more years? Give or take, yeah. Once Mason graduates, I think we're out. So I'm not going overboard, I just want something. To we, get we don't need through. appliances for the next uh, Homer. As you can see, we're taking a nice brisk stroll. In 100 degree weather. So we looked in Best Buy, there was what? Only yeah. like three yeah, gas options, options in person. So we're gonna walk down to Lowe's and see if they actually have anything on the floor we can see, touch, feel, and smell. And then we can always order online. We can always order online, but yeah, there's only like three, and actually there's really only like one or two maybe that were even an option for us. So the sizes, shapes, to make models all kind of seem the same. So hopefully we'll see one in here that we can actually, because it's tough to buy something like this I hate, it. I hate online shopping online because it's hard to tell without seeing it like a t-shirt's one thing but a stove microwave like it's nice to see them and feel them and see what they're all about before just ordering it but like i was telling her unfortunately that's the way the world is about to start going no, <laughs> it's going to be more of a uh order it and hope you like it so we'll see what Lowe's has. All right, done with Lowe's. I think we're gonna drive over to Home Depot now, see what they have. Um, it's turning out to be a little bit more difficult just because everything's in back order and the sizes that we need. And now we're trying to get a hold of Mason to measure to make sure that if we get a little bit bigger of a microwave, that we'll be safe. And when I'm cooking on the stove, it won't burn the microwave. So we just looked that up and asked the guy at Lowe's and supposed to be what 17 inches 15 to 17 15 inches. to 7 inches difference but um so yeah that's what we're doing all right guys it's a done deal now we just have to wait but the good news is the microwave is going to be in this in the week. next week yeah. yeah um and here's our microwave <laughs> we went with whirlpool which i said earlier that we were going to do ge but we went with whirlpool so that's our microwave and then i can't show you our range and you guys i got the dishwasher too thanks jack yeah. and we also <laughs> can't not? show them to you for months nope not until september so you guys are gonna have to come back in september to see those but the thing that we needed is Was being this, replaced and that's yeah. the most important yeah. thing so well we made our way to my sister's house in their backyard we'll go out there eventually it's completely done the last time we were here they were still like the hot tub wasn't full now it's ready to be used the dogs are being friendly, right? Mm -hmm. He's in a long ace and baby. We got the game on. Yes. Yes. Mason's ready in his jersey. Yes, I am. Yeah, protect yourself. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, I like your shirt. Yeah, I, I didn't even know I had it. I just looked at my closet. They all have it. <laughs> really? Uh, to be honest, Bryce, I literally just had to buy mine too because I don't have any Phoenix Sun stuff. That's so sad. Hey. Hi, baby. Oh, Hi, sweetheart. Good girl. Yes. Be nice, Ace. Okay, Suns, fourth quarter. They, it's a nail biter, you guys. Ah! But dinner is also ready. Clint was grilling on charcoal. First time in. Oh, years. it smelled like a campfire outside. Oh, it's oh it looks so yummy. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we have this is what I was in charge of. I just cheated and got bag salads and canned beans because you guys know we spent our morning buying new appliances. And you guys wanna know something really funny? So you guys know that we bought our range without seeing it in the store. Guess what? My sister has the, the range that we, this is, this is it you guys. This is what's gonna be delivered. Um, yeah. But she has stainless steel and we have black stainless steel. So that's what is coming to our house. Her microwave is a little bit different. We showed you in the store what um, ours looks like. And her um, dishwasher is a little bit different. I think ours has a third row where she just has two rows. So we're gonna have the same appliances. That's so fun. Clint, thanks for grilling by the way. I'm pumped, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, the sun's won. We got our swimsuits on, it's time. They're already in. We got the music going. Um, we got the tiki's going. We're ready to relax in the hot tub. I'm excited. And 
Last time we were here, their turf wasn't in. Look at that, so pretty. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday fun day. Y'all, we had so much fun last night. Um, we just sat in the hot tub and laughed our butts off. Um, got home pretty late, like 12, 12.30, and we gained a kid. Bryce came home with us last night, had a sleepover. Um, but we are up now. I'm making breakfast burritos for everybody. I think I'm about ready to roll them up. We got eggs, bacon, hash browns, vegetables, the tortillas. Of course, you gotta put the cheese in there. That's what breakfast is going to be. Ace already had his breakfast. Good morning, did Bryce spend the night? So Bryce woke up first this morning and came downstairs and Ace, I think, was a little confused because he's like, that's not Mason. Um, but yeah, that's the plans for now. Just some breakfast and relaxing the rest of the day. Maybe some house chores, mowing the grass. Mason might want to go hit at some point with his friend. Um, what else we got planned? I don't know. It's Sunday. We'll figure something out. Happy Sunday fun day. Earlier I said house chores, and the one thing that I've been dying, to, not dying to do, but it's been on my list because of safety reasons was doing our um, dryer vent. Um, so I just got all the dust from around it, and now we saw on TikTok that you can just use your, what is that, um, a leaf, leaf blower. blower. So I'm gonna take you guys outside. I'm, I'm curious to see how much comes out because Sometimes on these TikToks, like it's a lot of lint that comes out. So we'll see how bad ours is. Not bad. Okay, that makes me feel better about myself. There's like nothing coming out. Yay! Here he goes to go get our pizza. Um, so. The boys were getting hungry, so I was like, let's go. I was like craving a Starbucks after cleaning all morning. Um, so we went to Starbucks, ordered a pizza while we were on our way. And then Clint just texted and said, I'm on my way to get price, poor price. So we have plenty of pizza. The boys will have leftover for tomorrow, I guess. But um, sorry, Bryce, you don't get to enjoy oregano's pizza. And honestly, I don't really need the pizza because we're supposed to do burgers tonight, but I wanted to feed the boys. Oh well, can't go wrong with pizza though, right? There's my pizza delivery boy. Oh my gosh, look how big the pizza is too. Oh well. <laughs> Did you miss him? Oh, brother's home. Mason, <laughs> he walks in, he's like, you like my drip, guys? Um, let me show you. My hair's a little wonky. I was sitting on the couch. Um, Look at the drip, bro. <laughs> is that the new style? No. <laughs> At least I didn't have to carry it on the way out. Yeah, I just put on the other socks. I didn't have to take it. The orange uh, matched your shirt today, but he just got back from the trampoline park, and they make you wear those funky socks. <laughs> so that's, that's what he's got going on. But yeah, he left us for a couple hours. Um, went with his friends to the trampoline park. How was it? Did you do any fancy tricks? No. No backflips? I cannot do that. No? I don't want to break anything. I was going to say, don't break an arm or something. Every time he goes to these trampoline parks, I get so nervous. But he's he's alive. He didn't break anything. We're good. Um, did you do any filming? No. No? You just had fun? No, yeah. It was busy and... Okay. I don't know. All right. It wasn't really... Like basketball, there was nowhere really to put the camera at because we don't have a tripod or anything. Okay. So. Did you dunk? No. No dunks? No, I did. I was going to say, yeah. you have a trampoline. And no, it's not like a trampoline though. It was like a blob. Like, oh, know, really? The, gym, the gymnastics. Yeah, gymnastics. gymnastics um, that they like do the cartwheels on. Yeah. It was like thin the dance with routine. the white stripes. Yeah. It was like that thing. It wasn't an actual like trampoline. It used to be a trampoline. No, but it's a full court now. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's cool. I guess I haven't been to the trampoline park in a while. It's changed it's a bit. A um, yeah, he's home. And I think, are you hungry, Mason? Yeah, I'm starving. He's hungry. So good thing we we're, we have burgers. So Jack and I waited, um, and I'm still kind of full. They all ate that pizza. I, I was good and had salad, and the salad was amazing. It was huge, and I ate the whole thing. Um, so I, I could probably eat a little bit of a burger. You want us to grill out? Are you tired? 
Are you still supposed to hit tonight? Yeah. Oh no. I don't know. His friend um, was going to come over tonight and hit in the garage the bow net. So he's going to be exhausted though. Two hours of jumping, that would tire me out. All right, burgers coming up. So we decided to do the little sliders. They look yum. So dinner is ready. his heart. I told you. Two hours of jumping at a trampoline park. Plus he had a sleepover last night. Like I said, we didn't get home until like 12, 12.30. I know the boys stayed up till at least 2, 3 o'clock in the morning probably. No, I think they said like 2 o'clock. Um, he's tired. I guess we'll eat without him and then have to just reheat. But unfortunately you guys, like you guys know, our microwave doesn't work so we can't reheat anything. But I think I can just probably reheat it in the air fryer. Well, all right guys, it is a Sunday night. You guys know the drill. We're gonna go ahead and un end the vlog. But before we end the vlog, I've been getting a lot of people asking for an update on Mason and Jax. Although you haven't played on a hot minute. <laughs> um, Diamond Dynasty team. I do know that Mason pulled a pretty good player Friday night. So are you ready, Mace? Sure. What are you working with? This is the team. Just them right here? Yeah. You can show the cards. All right, who'd you pull? On He's Friday. on my team. Oh, you don't have him in the lineup? He's right here. Who is he? Nolan Arenado. There you go. 50K right there. That's Mason's team. This is my team. So, Santana, at catcher, Vladimir Guerrero at first, Marcus Simeon at second, Wander Franco. There's the, uh, 99 till June 29th. Uh, 95, uh, Jordan Groshans. Or I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Left field, Ronald Acuna Jr. Center, Byron Buxton won the awards. And then 96, Dante Bichette. Nice. And who's on your bench? Or who's oh, your pitchers? Here's my bench. It's just, my bench is just like, uh, I try to keep it like, like I love this Otani card. I love Vigio. I love Turner because of speed. I have par parallel four, as you can tell. Okay. Loriano and Abreu are new to the bench, but uh, I got all these players in my inventory. And then pitching, starting pitcher, my one, my ace, Cliff Lee, baby. We got Garrett Crochet, another nasty lefty that throws like 100 miles per hour. We got Pedro, obviously nasty. The GOAT, Zach Wheeler, and then Corbin Burns is my five. And his bullpen. And then my bullpen, Tom Hankey, Araldis, uh, Zach Britton, Mariano Rivera, Sean Doolittle, Ryan Tapera, Matt Barnes, and Lee Smith. So, all that will put in pretty good. All right, there you go. And he's trying to prove it every day, right, Mason? Sure. <laughs> all right, guys, so that's his team. Um, don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.